Lightfoot, another member of the class of 98, is here to welcome the tragically hip, here with their families to celebrate their induction to Canada's Walk of Fame. Our next inductee is the tragically hip. Well, that's what I wanted to say. I think that I'm kind of one of your typical tragically hip fans in that I not only listen and enjoy the music, but I work it into every bit of my life. And I throw it on every chance I get when I'm driving to the store, when I'm getting ready to skate, and probably for a few of my world championships, the last note of music I heard before the first beat of music of my solo was the hip. Ladies and gentlemen, to introduce them to you, Mr. Gordon Lightfoot. I first heard of the hip in, in 1988 when they played up at uh, Dunn's Pavilion up in Bella. Anybody remember that? The country has produced some great rock and roll bands over the years. Yes, it has. And a lot of them legendary. I've been around long enough and I've been lucky enough, I guess, to have seen most of them. And uh, there is a, a connective thread that runs through the heart of the very best. Provocative lyrics, dedication to musicianship, you know, a distinct style and a sound of their own. We're about to honor just such a group. Straight goods from Kingston. No fat, no glitz, no gimmicks. Just a sound as unique as this country. Gord Downey, Robbie Baker, Johnny Fay, Gord Sinclair, and Paul Langlois. Together from the beginning, together till the end. Canada's band. We've already been together three years. We're best friends. We all uh, plan on doing it for a long time together. Right from the start in 1984, the fans have been hardcore, dedicated beyond, hip heads all. What is it about the hip that makes them so hip? The lyrics, Gord, they're great. The Canadian folk heroes, they are, they're in a total group of their own. There's no other band like them out of Canada. They're just, they're great. Their songs inspire, speak to a way of life. They chronicle our journey in music. sounds hokey and everything, but uh, for some odd reason, it's just like, you know, you hear your place name or you hear something about where, you, where you're at, or you relate to it somehow, and you go, yeah! is that they're so truly Canadian, and what you've got is um, an, an eccentric genius for, as, like, as a lead singer. Content is king. The lyrics are the point, and Gord Downey, the messenger, a poet, a preacher, a pure rock and roll original. commitment to. This is more than something to simply hear. It's a door to active involvement. This band puts it all on the line for benefits ranging from BC's rainforest to the Special Olympics. In 
Salt Lake City at the 2002 Winter Olympic Games, they hit put on a rally for Canada's team that they'll talk about for decades. The boys gave back to the athletes. driven back roads that don't even show on maps, taken the Another Roadside Attraction Tour out to the people and become legends on the way. The release of a new CD in Violet Light means they'll be hitting the road again, a sure sign of Canadian summer. I think uh, Canada is a good country for a band to get its road legs. It's a, a really hard country to tour in. If you can tour back and forth across Canada for a couple of years, it's a, like it's a luxury to tour the states where there's a big city every hour or a couple hours, you know, instead of driving 12 hours. And here I'll use my uh, Ronnie Hawkins quote. <laughs> no, we have to. Off to you. Was, <laughs> not again. How does that quote go on, bro? <laughs> You have to go work, you know, you got to work ten times as hard to we get a tenth as far. Hey there you guys in Tragically Hip, congratulations on your Walk of Fame induction. Uh, you're our favorite Canadian band and any band that writes songs about Bill Barilko, uh, Bob Cajun, and has two Gordies in the band no less, deserves all the respect it can get. So have some coffee and donuts on us. Go Leafs, go. Don't get your hands stuck. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Put their hands in the walk of fame. Oh, right. Don't get your hands stuck. <laughs> Bobby Baker, Johnny Fay, Paul Langlois, George Sinkler. The tragically hip. It's been an incredible couple of days. Yesterday we got to meet Alex Colville, uh, which was an incredible honor. And I just shook hands with Gordon Lightfoot. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. I mean, uh, it blows our minds to even be considered in the same company as some of these people. These are idols of ours, our heroes. Uh, Neil Young, Joni Mitchell, Rush, Gordon Lightfoot, Bruce Coburn. And, uh, you know, I'm a little skeptical as to whether we really belong up here, but, but if you think we do, who am I to argue? Uh, our success, I think, has always been based on the fact that we're a family. Five of us, we're five brothers, our children, our wives, who we leave, leave behind for long stretches of time. Uh, it's very hard on them, and we couldn't do this without their support and their love. We love them very much. <laughs> I want to tell the police 